today is Thursday, November 30th, and this is the Citrus TV Now. I'm Benjamin Schiller, and here are today's top stories. Students gathered outside of the Drumlins Country Club last night before the college Republicans hosted SU alumna Stara Stockton. Demonstrators disapproved of the event, noting Stockton's comments on gender-affirming care as dangerous. Citrus TV's Nicola Ponte got their chance to speak with Stockton on the student demonstrations. Like I understand, um, they have concerns. I, I don't think that we need to just rip healthcare from trans people. That's not going to be wise either. Um, so, I mean, more power to them to be out there and speaking what they need to speak. Yeah. Nicole will have that full interview in an hour on News Live at 6. And staying on campus, SU Athletics is nominating basketball legend David Bing to the Ring of Honor. Bing will be officially added on January 27th when the Orange face NC State at the Dome. Bing enrolled at SU in 1962 where he helped the Orange get a 17-8 record and join the National Invitational Tournament. Bing was also inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 1990 and was named one of the 50 greatest basketball players in NBA history. The Syracuse Housing Authority is applying for a federal grant to help cover the $1 billion needed for a public housing overhaul. The housing, first built in the 1930s, consists of 30 blocks of 4,000 residents and concentrated poverty. The overhaul plan will replace every housing unit with more affordable apartments. The Common Council will decide whether to apply on this upcoming Monday. And sticking with the city news, an adult male died in a crash following a police pursuit on Syracuse's west side, authorities said last night. A patrol officer noticed a stolen Kia near Clinton Street and attempted to stop the car. Police say the stolen vehicle fled at a high speed until crashing into a stone wall on South Wilbur Avenue. Kia has come under nationwide scrutiny for lacking anti-theft technology. It is unknown how that car was stolen. And coming up on the Citrus TV Now, a Korean barbecue restaurant is opening up here in Syracuse. Find out how this one is different after the break. Welcome back to the Citrus TV Now. An all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue and hot pot chain has opened up here on Erie Boulevard. The location is K-Pot 7th in New York State. The chain modernizes Korean barbecue for a full bar and a nightlife atmosphere. The restaurant says K-Pot is about tasting the global spices and seasonings, all while feeling a sense of community. The restaurant is open Sunday through Thursday from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 12 p.m. to 11 Dinosaurs are coming to the On Center this weekend as part of the Dinosaur Adventure Exhibit. The event will feature large dinosaurs, a jeep race, obstacle course, and even dinosaurs that you can ride. The exhibit begins this Saturday at 9 a.m. It continues on Sunday. Admission starts at $25 with an optional adventure pack for children. Well, as the dinosaurs come into Syracuse, they may want to bring their umbrellas. Max, will we be, will we be seeing rain this weekend? Yes, we will, and I'll get into that in just a moment, but we were pretty mild today. Uh, temperatures in Syracuse right now are sitting at 45 degrees, uh, but look at this wind speed, 14 miles per hour coming out of the south, so very, a little windy out there and making that temperature really feel like um, in the upper 30s. Now, as we get into tonight, temperatures are going to drop uh, to the low of 38, uh, so it's going to be pretty brisk, so make sure uh, you grab a jacket if you do plan on going out tonight. Um, that wind speed actually increasing up to 25 miles per hour, so just keep in mind uh, with that. Now, here's a look at your weekend forecast. Tomorrow, we have some rain Saturday and Sunday some rain as well but those temperatures pretty mild uh, with temperatures staying within uh, the upper 40s. Ben? Max Williams with the bad news rain rain go away. Coming up on News Live at 6 Citrus TV reporter Leah Cohn will have the details on the academic freedom faculty panel held this morning including how Vice Chancellor Gretchen Ritter responded to students who are concerned about campus safety for students of color. That's all time we have for you today on the Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on X and Instagram. I'm Benjamin Schiller. Our coverage continues in an hour.